Before we continue with the rest of the video, we could use your help. Click that like button to help spread the word about Watch Jojo, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. There's something huge hidden a thousand feet beneath this building. What's inside? Amazing. Every year, over a million visitors flock to the small Polish town of Wilitska. One by one, they file through an ordinary looking building before descending a series of steps that head far beneath ground level. But just what is the secret lurking beneath this sleepy Polish settlement? The truth will very likely blow you away. The first mention of Wulitska dates back to the 12th century, when a settlement of that name was listed in a nearby monastery's records. Located close to the city of Krakow in the south of Poland, the town was officially established by Duke Premislas II in 1270. As far back as prehistoric times, the area around Wulitska has been synonymous with salt. Evidence suggests that attempts to mine the mineral here were made as far back as 3500 BC. But it wasn't until the 13th century that Wolitska's first professional miners dug down to reach the rock salt that had been discovered. This preceded the opening of the Salt Works Castle, the administrative center of the local mining trade. Over the next seven centuries, the Wolitska salt mine was slowly carved out to depths of more than a thousand feet. But as generations of miners chipped away at the ground beneath the town, something otherworldly began to emerge. It wasn't just salt extraction that was taking place beneath the streets. Over time, the miners created incredible underground structures that have to be seen to be believed. Chief among them is an awe-inspiring chapel of St. Kinja. It lies 330 feet below the surface and covers an area of more than 5,000 square feet. The chapel features an effigy of St. Kinja, the patron saint of coal miners, carved entirely from green salt. Legend states that Kinja tossed her engagement ring into a Hungarian mine, only for it to miraculously turn up in a deposit in Walitska. A staggering 40 feet high, the chapel was the work of one man and his brother. Begun in 1895, the impressive feat of engineering involved shifting more than 22,000 tons of rock salt. The place of worship is decorated with altarpieces and elaborate chandeliers. They're all amazingly made from nothing other than salt. Each was crafted by a painstaking process that dissolves and reconstituted the mineral. This removed all the impurities, leaving behind a substance much like glass. The chapel is just one of many wonders to be found within the Wolitska salt mine. Scattered throughout the underground chambers are some of the planet's finest examples of Christian folk art. Although the artists behind these works are largely unknown, they make up an incredible collection that encompasses everything from reliefs of the Last Supper to sunning salt statues of biblical figures. Visitors have been coming to admire them since the 19th century. Some of the statues, which experts believe took years to make, are life-sized. The processes are slow and delicate. Even the smallest wrong move could have opened up hidden cracks in the salt and destroyed entire pieces. The oldest of the artworks are thought to date as far back as the 17th century. They're housed in the Chapel of St. Anthony, a shrine created in 1698 to allow miners to worship while working underground. It's not known exactly how many of these chapels and shrines have been carved into the salt over time. Among them is the Chapel of St. John, which boasts an unusual wooden interior, and the Chapel of the Holy Cross, which was created after the mine was saved from a flood. All of them are decorated with salt sculptures and artworks, each representing scenes and stories integral to the miner's faith. It isn't just religious iconography that amazes all those who venture into the Wolitska salt mine, though. There's also an underground salt lake and the Stanislaw Stazitz Chamber, a huge cavern which stands more than 100 feet high. Scars from the machinery used to excavate salt from the chamber can still be seen on the walls. In 1978, the salt mine was granted UNESCO World Heritage status. This helped the underground complex to survive as a popular tourist attraction once excavation ceased in 1996. Today, the Wolitska salt mine, which hosts everything from weddings to grand balls, is one of Poland's most popular visitor attractions. Its most impressive feature, aside from the salt carvings, a health resort with its own microclimate.